and I'm going to I have this stupid I'm going to turn off the grid rotate my image because I want it to be landscape so uh, how do I do that image image rotation 90 degrees clockwise okay cool I have a new layer here we go so hey Frankie I'm going to start off with a hard brush I like using a hard brush more than I use the airbrush for sketching so here we go I hold so you know if you okay I'm gonna okay sorry I was getting mixed up I've been on Illustrator for the last few days so let's make this full screen test my brush all right all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a simple box and and just duplicate it multiple times rotate screen is R you know you just want it to be comfy especially if you're on Cintiq who cares if your lines meet up it doesn't matter perspective I'm just going to do a very loose perspective just because I'm, I'm a little bit stickler for perspective one more time okay same with this side so Frankie I am using a hard brush right now I'm using a hard brush Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. My bad. Okay, so this was all done with a hard brush, Frankie. Because look, and so what's really nice about this brush is thick to thin, which is very, very nice. And I prefer this. You can do the same with an airbrush, but it just doesn't. Because what happens when you want to? I don't know. I just prefer a thick brush. Okay, so got my got my square. Let's let's start rendering it up. I'm gonna go red. So the first first thing we're gonna do is high gloss. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do another box as well because there's a couple of different things that are very interesting about a high gloss. And it depends, funny enough, on perspective. Okay, so I'm going to do a box here, and I'm going to do another one with a different perspective, and it will affect how gloss is, is, is how gloss functions. So I'm going to make a new layer. And by the way, I like to go five. Five is like really a good size for sketching on 300 DPI. So now, if you do perspective box like this it's gonna have a different reflective po um, properties and I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that it's a little bit this one's a little more advanced than this one so I'm gonna start off with the less advanced right here that's what I'm gonna start off with and then I'll move on to the other one okay so a red, let's, let's just do red. So I'm gonna go to red here, right here. And I'm just simply going to, once again, with a hard brush, don't worry, I'll get into the reflections, but I'd like to use a hard brush generally. Let's just simply fill this in. And, uh, oh. I need to get off, I need to do that again because I'm on the wrong layer. I <laughs> do that, everyone does. But I'm gonna lock these down so I don't do this again. This one lock and this one lock. Okay, let's try this again. New layer. Fill it. Okay, I'm going to make three different layers, one for each side. So that's that side. I'm going to do another one for this side, and it should be on a different layer. Let's just make sure. Yep. For, I don't know if there's a better way to do it, but I'm always constantly turning on and off layer just to see um, if I'm on the right layer. So I, there's probably an easier way, but I don't know it. 
Okay, and I'll fill this. Uh, it's normally G. Okay, and then the final one, right here. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna turn on my cursor. I've got a, I've got a really nice little cursor tool. I'm gonna turn it on so you can see where my cursor is. I'm gonna do it right now. Um, this I need to go to go, uh, go to um, applications. And I got this thing called cursor something, cursor pro. I don't know, let's find it. So, maybe cursor pro, there we go. Cursor Pro, yes, 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 we're good. Oh, there it is, it's working great. Okay. <laughs> and of course I've got to do the right layer. I'm gonna turn this one down, just so I can see, what's, see which one is which. I'm gonna turn this one down a little bit also. Okay, and then finally, okay so let's put down a shadow and that will determine where our light is coming from so I'm going to make a new layer for that and I'm just going to go black and I'm going to turn on my uh, uh, my smoothing I'm basically just setting up right now Fill this in. Okay. And I will erase out. And I'm just going to erase out the shadow. I just had to bust it in using the cursor tool. Okay, delete. All right. So let's say the light is coming from roughly the top. This is going to be the lightest, obviously. And this side's going to be light also. Um, so let's just see. This one's going to be a little bit darker. This one's, let's just say this one's a little bit darker. And this one on the top is going to be lightest. Oops. So there's multiple, way, multiple ways to, you know, make them light. I could do pink, but I just use transparency in this case. Okay, high gloss. These are both going to be high gloss things. So I'm just going to move this one over. Oh, it's locked, of course. Let's unlock it. Okay. So this 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 panel right here, this one, the darkest the darkest one. Let's start giving it a gradation. Let's let's. Uh, I'm going to use the, uh, the um, uh, what's this called, the, the magic wand tool and highlight it. Okay, make a new layer. I'm going to go to airbrush. Uh, I'm going to take, go to airbrush now. And give it a soft, soft stroke. Let's just turn this, let's, let's crank this up full blast. Let's turn this opacity down. Okay, and I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm stroking more the bottom of it, right? So, there, just a little, okay. Next, I will cut this out in a second, but I just wanna kind of feel myself out first. My, my light's coming from here. So let's do the top layer now. I'll make a new layer, I'll make a new layer for this surface. Now I'm gonna go white and put in the airbrush. 
airbrush, I don't know, I guess my lights, according to my, according to my shadow, my light is, is really kind of the core of the lights about here. Let's make it quite dramatic. Okay, let's cut out the, the leftovers that I accidentally, I accidentally did that. Oh, let's do it here, here, go around there, select inverse, which is, um, uh, command I or something, I think. Let's just see, I forgot what it is. Um, select inverse, shift, shift thing, I, I, yeah, yeah, okay. So select inverse, now I'll delete all the white. There we go. So we got the top surface, and now we're gonna do this bottom surface. Uh, which is, right, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna highlight it. And in this case, I'm gonna go a little bit of white and a little bit of black. So I'm on white already, and I'm just gonna stroke this corner. Right there, it's only highlighting that corner, and then back here, maybe a little bit of darkness. Okay, so that's it in a, that's basically, if this was not a shiny surface. This is a, this is a, a matte surface. So if we wanna put some shine in there, what we're gonna do is, this might even take a, oh, let's, I, I accidentally, let's just cut out this stuff all around, all around this area. So select inverse, select inverse and delete. Okay. And I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to turn this, I, I'm just, you've got to slightly adjust this stuff until each surface, one, two, three, are very different, very contrasting. These two are very contrasting. This one's not very contrasted, so let's crank it up a little bit more. There we go, so it's a little bit more contrasting. There we go. And this, I'm gonna even double this. So we really have a lot more extreme. This top surface, I'm gonna, I'm going to actually make it a lot more contrast. And I'm going to go white, and it, I really want this contrasted. So there. Now we really have the three extremes. So this is a, as I say, this is a matte, a matte surface. Now I'm going to group all of this. And I'm going to duplicate it. Okay, the how I, I grabbed all of these, and so I can group it. I don't know if you know about grouping, but all of this is this. So I'm going to grab, oh, I'm going to touch this file thing. And so now I've got the group. It all grouped. This is very useful for, as they say, layer management. So let me open back up, and I'm going to duplicate my box. Right? Actually, no. I'm going to duplicate this whole thing. So... Grab, go down here and push it, put it onto the plus. Now I've got two boxes. I'm gonna use the move tool. Be sure you have this thing clicked off. Otherwise you're gonna be selecting layers. So now I've got this uh, layer selected. Let's move it over. Now this one I'm gonna make high gloss. Okay, so let's move this over. And let's open it up by clicking here. And this shadow is bothering me, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase out. Actually, no, I'm just going to extend it because it just it looks abstract art, and it's not. I don't want that. And I'm going to fill it, fill fill it with G, okay. And then I'm gonna erase out. Erase, uh, soft erase. And use that. Deselect. Just erase out. There we go. Okay, okay now we're ready to, to do this, make this shiny. So, I'm gonna click on this layer here. Oh, I have to go back and select this 
So because then I can automatically select layers. So I'm selecting that. Now I can automatically select layers. Okay, and so I've selected that layer. So it might take me a couple of shots. So let's try. Um, I'm going to duplicate this just, as, just in case I screw up. So duplicate it, turn it off. Now, I'm going to try a couple experiments because I don't know how this is going to turn out. I just know the theory. So I'm going to go with an eraser. Eraser. Uh, wait, eraser. Uh, I got in. Oh, no, sorry. Eraser. Right here. Hard eraser. And, oops, no brush. I want eraser right here and hard eraser. Okay. Let's take it down. So let's just try it. So the light source is, is this is the hottest part where it's the brightest. So I'm gonna keep that. And I'm just gonna do a stroke here and another stroke here. Let's just see what that, that looks quite pretty cool. I'm not, I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. And how I judge the number of strokes, I'm always doing three. I always do three for some reason. It always just works. Three, or, well, in this case it's two, what an idiot. So no, I do two or three, all right? And I also don't make them level. So, for example, if you make them level like this, it just doesn't look right. It looks like stripes. You have to give it some um, little funk, like a little bit of something like that. Make them different as well. So I made a mistake. These are both the same width. So let me undo, and I'm going to do the, the um, I'm going to use this width on this one, and now I'm going to reduce my brush for the back one, and maybe one more. Make it look uneven, um, quote unquote random. But that looks a little stripey too. So one more attempt and I'm just gonna do, it looked best when I did two. Or you can, okay, here's one. No, 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 let's try that again. That looks weird, but let's just try it. That looks kind of cool. Now this would be, if there was a situation like this, that one would be something like this. I'll quickly sketch it in. I'm gonna go up here. This would be if we had a shape back here reflecting. Oh, sorry, what, I don't know what happened. This would, this would be relevant if I had a reflex, reflective And then let's put a color back there. Let's just color it in. Um, let's just color it in. Uh, uh, let's 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 go blue. Let's fill it in. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Oh, blue. So in this case. Uh, no, let's go a little lighter. I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust this to make it lighter. Image adjust hue saturation. You see, so it takes experiment. You just don't bust it in one. Maybe if you're doing the same thing over and over and over, but I don't do this often. So let's just make this lighter. So what I'm going the trials and tribulations I'm going through now are real. I mean, I I do work with Photoshop a lot, but okay. So anyway. If you have a square stuff, it's going to reflect onto, onto, onto this highly reflective thing. Okay, but that's not really what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you, let's just undo this, just pure reflections. So let's go back to this and without any backgrounds and eraser. And let's just go back and I'm just going to do my two strokes, three strokes, Whatever, whatever looks good. There. And maybe it should be straight. Maybe it should be straight. And then one more back here. I'm good. It looks starts, starts to look shiny. Then this same philosophy applies to in here. Let's go to this, this, this panel here. Let's see what, there it is. Now I'm going to, oh, I duplicated it. So I'm going to merge down, which is command E. Okay, and I'm just going to duplicate it just in case I screw up. And here. Now, this might be different. I'm going to erase out again with a hard brush. So, eraser. And 
be uh, eraser and I and let's just stroke it let's see okay this this might work okay I'm just gonna stroke it that kind of works not really so you know I would I, I literally just be experimenting until I get it working okay that might work so let me make a new layer and put it looks a little flat here so I'm just gonna put a little bit of white airbrush on top um, airbrush soft airbrush why is that not working oh because I'm shadow because I'm on um, I'm on uh, eraser okay let's just try again oh Oh, wait, wait, sorry, I'm, I'm just all messing up now. Okay, let's zoom out. Okay, so what was I doing? Okay, I'm trying to just put a bit of airbrush in here. So, new layer. That, I wanted to brush, airbrush. Wait, wait, where's my, oh, there we go. And... Airbrush. Let's just see if this will work. Just a little hint. Why is that not working? Brush, 100% airbrush, white. I've got nothing selected. Command D to deselect. Now, why? Oh, there we go. All right. Now I'm going to use a big airbrush and just stroke it a little right there and erase out all the stuff I don't need. Select inverse. Uh, select inverse. Delete. Okay, deselect. Oops. Control deselect. And finally, this surface here. You know what? I'm going to turn this guy back on. I mean, thank God I, I. Thank God I duplicated that because I'm going to turn it down a little bit because it's looking weird. Let's just turn this off. You see, just experimentation, man, experimentation. Okay, this guy, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit till it looks right. So let's just see what happens when you turn it down. Okay, that looks okay to me. And then this side is gonna be pretty easy. Let's find what, where my white stuff is. Right, uh, that's a little black and white. So I'm gonna erase out with a hard brush eraser hard let's just try this again just I'm gonna try again until let's just try a different angle that's kind of okay not really though honestly it's not really Okay, let me just add a little bit more white, perhaps so I can get a little bit of a stronger re reflection. And I'm on, I want to go onto this layer that all of that's on, okay. And let's try white again, but airbrush. Excuse me, I'm on the wrong brush. There we go. Okay, now let's, let's put on another, let's try the, the brush again, uh, the eraser. And I don't want it. That want that eraser allows now this oops too big <laughs> this um this this cursor thing is really confusing me okay there I, I'm actually kind of cool with that okay so and I'm not finished yet so once once we got that foundation this is looking a little harsh let me just turn it down it's like you know fine tuning fine tuning this stuff. There, it's looking a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. That's much nicer. So, I'm not finished yet. The final touches is this is hard edges, right? So, I'm gonna go B. I'm gonna um, choose a new layer. I'm gonna go with a brush, a hard brush, because it's a hard edge. And right here, I'm gonna give it a stroke of, stroke of love. Let's see what happens. There we go. That was a lucky one. 
Let me rotate it and do another one. Well, that was lucky. I'm, I'm on a roll. And let's do this one. Okay, cool. So let's rotate around. Oh, shoot. My bad. Undo. Escape. Delete. <laughs> okay. Anyway, rotate. Oh, man. R, R, R. Rotate. I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, so these little these little reflections are not fully done yet because I need to erase them out. So let's find them. There it is. Um, and now I need to erase them a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a soft eraser. Here's the eraser, soft, and erase out because the as the lines come, uh, go away from you, they get lighter. So you get a more focused right in front of right on your right in front of you. Now finally, this this point right here is going to be super white. So I'm going to go white. I'm going to go um, brush, hard brush, and I'm going to just really just get in there and just do this and maybe even beef up. It's just a very little detail, but it matters. So there we go. That is basically a high gloss. Um, that's how I do it. It's just experiment, you know? That's how you, you just kind of play with it until it's right. So let me just label this, and then I'm gonna show you this other perspective that distorts things. I'll show you, but for now, for this purpose, let's say um, matte finish. Matte finish. And this is high gloss finish. Okay, so this should all be in a group. Let's just turn it off. Yep, that's one group. That's another group. Now let me open up this. Now this. Now, the reason why I want to show you this perspective is because of, let's just get rid of this, that, and, uh, okay. It's because contrasting to this. Okay, let me, let me tell you the difference between these two perspectives and how they affect reflections. So, notice the top, we're looking way down, we're looking down on this. On this one, we're looking really on this level. And so therefore, this surface right here is, is highly reflective because it's like, um, do you know what a mirage is? A mirage is when you're in the desert and you see water on the road, but there's no water. Do you know what I mean, Frankie? Frankie, no. do you know what a mirage is? No. A mirage is, let me do a quick Google search, because it's very important. Mirage. And let's see the images. Okay, this is a mirage. You see how this dirt is reflecting very much? You see how this road is reflecting the light? It's rough, it's not shiny, it's not high gloss, but it's reflecting the light. It's because this angle is so acute that it's, it's reflecting whatever's in the surface. So you know what these are, don't you, Frank? You've seen these, right? Okay, okay. So that's why I, when you change perspective, now this surface is gonna reflect big time whatever's on the top. So let's let's put in a, a, a yellow a yellow top. Um, in fact, let's 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 yeah let's go, let's go blue. And I'm going to give it a nice big airbrush. I'm gonna turn it down for now, just so I can see what I'm working on. But whereas the rest of the box is gonna be red. So let's just do it all red. So this is, this is gonna be red. Um, let's just see where I am. Okay, I'm gonna lock this because I need that. New layer and red. Fill this in. Deselect. Let's do a new layer. 
fill this one in and fill that with red new layer fill this with red okay uh, now let's let's use the same lighting situation we're gonna put in light it's going to be coming from this direction. And I'll fill it with black. Okay. Great. Okay. I'm going to move this blue back behind the box. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do the same technique right here. So this is going to be high gloss. So we're going to take this and um, I'm going to make it darker. So I'm going to do a different technique this time. I'm going to go to image adjustment, hue saturation, colorize, and I want the saturation up high, but I want the darkness a little bit darker. There we go. It's very nice. This top surface theoretically is going to be white. So let's go to image, adjust, hue saturation, and let's lighten it up. Oh, I was on the wrong layer, sorry. Cancel. I'm always doing that. Okay. This top surface is going to be quite white. Image, adjustment, hue saturation, um, and give it a nice white. Okay, and then finally, this is quite okay. Now I'm going to paint on top of these. So how I'm going to do it, I'm going to show you a different technique of painting on top. I'm going to use the alpha lock, which is right here. Alpha lock, and now I can only paint on this surface. You'll see what I'm talking about in a sec. V for brush. I'm going to go high gloss. I mean, uh, I'm going to go matte. And just getting it darker towards the end. Okay. Next is this surface. So. Once again, I'm going to do another alpha lock, which is this button, alpha lock, and it will only allow me to paint on the pixels on that layer. So let's just put white on there. There we go. And this one, this layer, all right, let's just give it a little bit of background. Um, let's go black. So I got black and alpha lock it right here, alpha. Now I can just paint back here. Okay. So, simple, simple, actually, you know what, that's too nasty. Let's undo that a little bit, that looks horrible. I'm not, I'm not even going to put a black on there, I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, it's just trial and error till you make it, till it looks right. So now, let's put in this, this color. Um, honestly, I don't know how I'm going to do it right now. Let's just turn this off. Okay, let's turn this down. And let's turn off the sketch. So, and let's move this thing up. And it's going to seriously reflect whatever's behind it. Um, you see this on car hoods. So this is where I really learned it with, let's look at car hoods. Um, uh, reflective, reflective car rendering. Okay, here's a pretty good one, but it's not showing me a background. Let's go down. This is pretty reflective, but that's it's not really in context. Let's find something in context. Wait, wait, where's my slider? Okay, let's just, let me have a look around. Okay, here's somewhat of an example, a little bit of an example. It is reflecting off this. The, the more acute this angle is, the more flatter this angle is, it's gonna reflect more of this color. So let's see what else we can find to, to put a real life context in.
Okay, you know what? I'm going to look for a photograph. Because they blend in. Well, here's, here's a rendering from a famous dude. The sky, when, as the surface gets closer, it, it, it reflects that because it's very um, level. I don't know what the word is, but it's very level. So that's, that's how this works a little bit. Okay, so those, oh, let's make this more, let's make this reflective. Um, here we go. And I'm going to keep it alpha lock. And I'm gonna just put some white reflection in there. I'm going white, hard brush. So B for brush hard and let's turn this brush down a little bit honestly I don't know how this is going to work nope let's undo I'm going to in fact I'm going to outline this and let's see if we can make it look reflective on a new layer and I'm going to go white B for brush right oh brush and let's just stroke it there And there. And let's turn it down a little bit. There we go. That looks kind of okay. And let's do the same for this surface. New layer. And let's put in the strokes in this side. Something a little bit. Oops. And they should be straight to be honest. I'm, I'm not doing them correctly. But let's turn this down, really down, let's see what happens. Subtlety. Look at this, I'm about 10% of opacity. So, but there's a weirdness right in here because these two are making a V. So, you gotta redo it until it, it's not too joined up. One more attempt. So, as I say, it's trial and error. And we all go through this. We, that's why there's a serious undo button. Okay, let's uh, take this down. Okay, that's kind of okay-ish, it's not really. Okay, anyway, there. Now, let's see what we can do with this top layer. Do you know what? I think this looks better without, I'm gonna turn this thing right down, so down. I'm gonna turn it down to like 7%. I think that looks cool. So, new layer. Actually, you know what? Let me just change this a little bit. Let's make this more red. Let's, I'm gonna crank it up a little bit. Let's make it red, red, red. Let's just see what happens. Fill it. Okay, now let's turn it down. Let's see what happens. That's even better. Let's, we're at 3%. 5% of opacity, barely you see it, okay. Now, new layer, and I'm just gonna stroke those same corners. They're hard corners. Zoom in. By the way, when you're doing strokes, it's easier to do it when you're zoomed out because it's shorter strokes. So I'm gonna zoom out. <laughs> I'm gonna do this again. And crank up my brush full blast. Okay, rotate until you get it to the right place. Oh, that sucked. Okay, and one more. I always have my hand on the undo. I mean, yeah, I try to. I keep pressing the wrong button. Fuck off. I don't know why it's doing that. I say undo. Okay, there we go. And rotate around. And let's erase out. I'm not even gonna... Okay, I will try something. I'm gonna try. Um, First, I'm going to erase this stuff out, as I mentioned before. There, there, and there. Now, 
I like it when things blend in. I do that all the time. It's a really nice graphic uh, technique. But maybe it needs, I don't think it needs a reflection. I, I think I'm good, but I just try it. No, it definitely doesn't need that. Well, it kind of does. That, to me, that's amateur. I don't know, I would not do that. It's somebody who's, who thinks, I don't know, it's, it's just a little amateur, but I'm gonna do it anyway and, and show you what I'm talking about. So this would be somebody, oh. Trying to get out of there, delete, escape. Okay, rotate. Let's see, is this, where is this? Okay, this, this would be somebody who tries too hard. I guess you could barely have it, barely, barely, maybe barely, but I normally wouldn't do that. I prefer when you don't even notice, don't even see it. So, there we go. Another high gloss thing, this, this is a new layer, I think. There's that layer. I'm gonna make this, let's get rid of this type thing. This is gonna be another group. So in case you didn't get it, this is all another group there, here, group. So, there we go. Let's turn this off. Right, um, that's boxes. Let's do, a, let's do a, a ball. Let's do a ball now. Okay, so to do a quick and easy ball, let's do a red ball. And the easiest way to do a ball, I mean, this is so obvious, is, but it's, some people don't realize. Grab a brush, new layer, a uh, new layer, and let's do it right here. So I'm just going to go 100%, 100%, and just click. There we go, it's a ball. All right, cool. Now, let's, let's put the light point. Where, where's the light? So, hold on, let's make it a little bit larger. Duplicate it. Turn it black. So, I'm going to go to Image, Adjust, Choose Saturation, and Colorize, Saturation down, black, there. Okay, put it behind the ball. Control T, squeeze, up, oh, Shift, squeeze and then put it wherever the light is, wherever you want the light. Hold on, let's just, let's just see what this is. Hold on. Just gonna have to play with it until it looks about right. Because I don't have a clue until I do it. Okay, so right now my light is, my hot spot is gonna be here. Let's do a rubber ball. I'm gonna duplicate this. And this, and turn them off. Okay, rubber ball. Rubber ball is going to be, let's go white, airbrush. And it's just a splotch, just a, I'm gonna hit it. Oh shoot, uh, you always need to do a separate layer by the way. So let's try that again. I'm good with that. We might want to turn it down later. I don't know. But anyway, that's okay. And now the shadow around the back. So how we're going to do that is a new layer. And we're going to get black. It's darkest at below. And then as you go up, it's going to get a little bit lighter. Go around. Okay, and I'm gonna grab this, use the uh, uh, magic wand, select that, select inverse, control, command, I, inverse, and delete. All right, deselect, rubber ball. Okay, here's a little, here's a little tip. Let's put a blur on this, and we'll turn it down a little bit. So let's do a blur, two ways of blurring. I'm gonna 
firstly duplicate this to show you the two ways. The easiest and fastest way is simply blur, Gaussian blur, and then you just do it until it looks right. But there's a problem. When a shadow goes away, it, it gets more blurry. When it's closer to you, it's sharper. So this is not as realistic. So let's cancel that. Let's do the manual blur. So there's this icon right here. I think this is blur, wait, blur tool. Now this thing is a pain in the butt, but let's go blur, blur tool, because it takes so much work to make it. Okay, I'll, sh I'll give you an example. Strength, 100%, right? Let's zoom in. Oops, my bad. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stroke it once. You can't even tell, and I am 100%. So the problem I got with this tool is it takes so long, and you do this, and your computer thinks it uses so much memory. Up here, I'm not gonna blur much because it's closest to me, but as I go back here, you do this, and trust me, if it's a big piece, the computers, you just can sit there five minutes, make a coffee, and come back, and hopefully it's done. But this is not so complicated, so, but it takes a lot to get this blurred. You can see how much I'm doing. And I wouldn't be surprised if my computer's thinking right now. It is thinking, look. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, it's not. But that's how you should actually, you should make it, to, to be realistic, that's how you make it blur. Uh, blurry in the back, and in the front it's crispy. All right, now let's do a, um, Let's do a, uh, a, 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 a snooker ball, a, a um, gloss, glossy ball. So let's turn, let's lock this down. Let's make a layer out of these. Group it and shut it off. Let's turn this on and this on. Okay, this time we're gonna do a high gloss ball. And this is, I really like this. It's just concentric circles. So, New layer, white. I'm gonna go full blast white. Um, um, brush, hard, 100%, 100%. Okay, I'm just gonna keep that, let's just turn it down, let's see what happens. Because I kinda wanna gauge it. Let's see, let's just see. I, I might have to work on it a little bit more. I don't know yet. Okay, um, in the back, what we're gonna have is, we're, this black reflection is going to, no, no, this black shadow is going to reflect onto this high gloss um, globe. So let's go black and let's do a shape. Now balls, you kind of got to, Do a shape that's kind of ballish, but distorted. But make it smooth. I'm trying to smooth it out so I don't have any weird edges. Oopsie. Okay, now I just wanna see what happens. I'm gonna turn it down. Oops, damn it, I put it all on the same layer, no problem. Control X, Control Shift V, which is paste and turn this down. Let's just see what happens. Okay, that's kind of looking convincing, but I know what to do now. Undo, I'm gonna merge this over so it's touching, barely touching the black. And this time, I'm gonna duplicate this just in case I screw up. But this time, I'm going to erase out the top part, oops, with an airbrush, so E for eraser, um, eraser, soft eraser, and let's just erase this out a little bit. Uh, too, too much. You need a really delicate um, touch on this. So turn down the opacity of your brush to about this because you're gonna really have to kind of slowly feather it in. Something like that. That's another technique. <laughs> but you know, I'm not convinced with it. So but it kind of works. Now finally, here's one more. Now let me try one more technique. 
Um, I just thought of it. <coughs> um, eraser? Where's the eraser? Eraser, eraser. Hard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something a little bit risky here. Uh, eraser, hard eraser. Okay, let's, let's try this again. Here. And this is going to be like a chromey reflection. Eraser. I want hard eraser. Gosh darn it. Okay, now let's try it. I don't know if this is... I'm trying my art side now. Oh, and don't forget to go 100%. I just want a pure cutout. I don't think it's working, but I'm going to have to still try it out and just see what happens. No, that doesn't work. Anyway, hey, worth the experiment. And this guy, is, what's this? This is 100%. Let's duplicate it because... So, there we go. That is not super effective, but I'm not finished yet. Okay, I know what to do. We need a shadow in the back, and that's gonna be a soft shadow. So here we go, new layer. But I am gonna select this with the, with the um, magic wand here, and now I'm gonna airbrush back here, which is B, airbrush. Turn this down, because you're gonna to wanna to feather it nicely. Brush, airbrush, 35. Let's turn this up to 100%. Deselect. And now this white blotch. Oops. We're going to turn this down. Deselect, and it kind of works. It kind of works. Hmm. It's looking weird to me. I'm gonna take this 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 uh, this reflection away and look at that a little bit more. Okay, let's just try one more thing. I'm going to erase out the back because, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just try, okay, I'm going to try erasing out the back. Because what that is theoretically doing is is uh, reflecting off the background, but that's not even working either. I'm just going to do that and just let me think about this. And I'm going to take my shadow away, turn it down a little bit, and I'm going to try this reflection one more time because I know for a fact this black is going to reflect onto this this surface. So let me try one more time, black brush, hard brush, and let's try this one more time. Fill it up, and let's turn it down. Okay, that's not working, so I'm going to erase out a little bit. So E for, e for eraser, and I'm going to go in airbrush. I'm going to duplicate this just in case, and let's just erase it out. And let's turn up this.
And one more thing I'm going to try is I'm going to do an airbrush around this. I'm just going to see if that works because sometimes it does. So there, airbrush, let's just try it. Wait, is that working? Oh, it's eraser, sorry, my bad. Okay, let's try this one more time. There we go. And let's turn down that white dot. Find it. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Let's turn it down. Okay. And let's just see what happens. Let's just try these different things. That actually is kind of more effective. Let's merge this. And I'm just going to erase this and try it one more time. There, very subtly. I guess it's quite okay. Okay, now let me just let me just um, blur this with the blur tool um, right here, and there it is. Okay, turn this down a little bit. Oh no, I'm gonna blur this. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of Gaussian Blur on. Blur, got, oops. Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Just a wee bit, because the front will be a little bit blurred. Oh man, what happened? Did, did I merge all that stuff together? I will never have enough undos. I guess I merged it all, what? I guess it's all one layer. That's weird. Why is that? I honestly don't understand why that's like that. I don't know how that happened, but... All right, let's turn that off. Turn it down, let's just see what happens. 